Archbishop Stepanak playing for a Catholic City Championship, trying to win their first title since 1960. They have to take on a very tall order, Christ the King, and their seven-foot combo inside. First quarter, Alan Griffin. Fadeaway jumper here off the mark, but who's there to pick him up? His little brother, freshman A.J. Griffin. The putback basket, Stepanek on the board early. But the big man for Christ the King, he would step out. Kofi Cockburn hits a 15-footer for his first basket of the game. Stepanek trying to go out in transition. Pull up, three, got it. Alan Griffin, hot from the start in this one. Stepanek did a solid job of containing the big man for Christ the King all day here, but Musa Sissi. Gets a basket and the foul. He had 10 points and 11 rebounds. This man was hot early on. Ryan Myers, the basket. He had 16 points. Alan Griffin trying to drive the lane in here. But watch Musa Sissi, one of 12 block shots in the game. Yes, he had a triple-double. And on the other end, a block shot of their own. Xavier Wilson rejects a shot, but getting the put back there again is Ryan Myers. Christ the King led 17-11 late in the first quarter. Here's how the quarter would end. Not a good opening frame for Stepanak, but Eddie Sanchez there to clean it up, gets the basket in the final second. Stepanak down by four after one. On to the second quarter. Fadeaway jumper, Allen Griffin gets the friendly roll. Griffin shot six of 14 in the game. He had 20 points in transition. Sanchez gets his shot blocked there by Sissy. Sissy was a menace inside. AJ Griffin, crossover, spin, fadeaway, jumper. Nails it, the freshman, so good, so good in this postseason. He had 19 points. Then inside, Xavier Wilson, pretty feed there from R.J. Davis for the basket. And then R.J. Davis trying to come down the floor here, pull up three at the buzzer. He nails it at the half. Stepanak outplayed for the first two quarters. They're only down two at the break. On to the third quarter. Davis picking up where he left off. Nice drive there inside. Gets the finish around two defenders and the end one. And then it's Griffin driving through here. Shot off the mark, but Xavier Wilson's there to clean it up. Wilson, he had eight rebounds and 13 points. Stemanek went ahead in that basket, and then Alan Griffin made the statement. In transition, the flush. What a dunk there by the senior. The emotion letting loose as Stemanek now trying to build on his lead. Later in the third, Sissy misses, but right there to clean it up. That is Kofi Cockburn, one of his 15 rebounds. He had 16 points. Sanchez, though, and Griffin moving the ball extremely well. Pull-up jumper there for A.J. Griffin. He knocks down the shot. And then later, Griffin passing to the corner. Maybe the biggest three-pointer of the career for Eddie Sanchez. Knocks it down, and Stepanak builds a 10-point lead in the third quarter. They were down seven late in the second. Price the King trying to go inside to the bigs. The bigs are working around to each other. Sissy finish on the feed there from Cockburn, but just too much step and hack in the second half of this game. Pretty ball movement here, and somehow Xavier, Xavier Wilson finishing over two seven-footers for the basket. Then R.J. Davis, watch the nifty ball handling here, goes behind his back as the floater, and then the drop-off pass. Sanchez leaves it inside. A.J. Griffin, he finishes there. Griffin, 8 of 14 from the field. He had 19 points, and then just more great ball movement. R.J. Davis feeds Xavier Wilson for the dunk. That just got the party started. Alan Griffin, the MVP, checks out his final game in the Catholic League, celebrating with his coach. And then the final seconds tick away as Stepanak. They were the football champions of the Catholic League. They are the basketball champions of the Catholic League. They pull it off. 29-year-old head coach Pat Masseroni in his fourth season takes the program to its first championship win since 1960. And the Crusaders are celebrating. They're moving on to the Federation Tournament. They will take on Long Island Lutheran on Friday the 23rd in Glens Falls.